Hey, this is John. Um, I hadn't planned to get into this, but um, when I was cutting the base out of my cabinet, I apparently uh, knocked my carriage out of alignment. So since I've got to get in here, I thought I would make a video. On your carriage, there are, yeah, let's, there are four wheels down in here, two in the front, two in the back. Each of them has got a uh, two millimeter screw holding the wheel and the bearing assembly to a pin. Now this pin is what they call eccentric. In other words, instead of being straight, okay, like such as the this Allen wrench, the bearing and everything is actually offset. So that as you as you turn the screw, the wheel will actually change distance from the X rail here. But what I wanted to show you first off is make sure that you take your Allen wrench, whatever you're using, and tighten this particular screw down. Because once you release this grub screw right here, this set screw, if you try to turn that and that screw here on the wheel is loose, then you're going to just not have any control over it. But take a very, very small, and I don't know what size Allen wrench this is. I had to dig around to finally find it. But that puppy is small, okay? It's the smallest thing I've got. But back that screw off, and as I turn this, you can see how it's actually changing the position of the wheel in relation to the carriage. What you want is you want that carriage to have as little slop in it as possible. You don't want it to pinch, 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 but you want it tight, okay? Or you want it snug, rather. Shouldn't be able to, to move much at all. And you saw how much movement I had, and I, for instance, when it was right here, you see how much movement I have in that carriage but when I turn that wheel just a little bit, all of that movement is sucked up. So I'm going to leave it right there for now and give it a run. But I thought I would show you what this ha effect has on here. Because now this carriage is tight. It still moves. Still slides. But you want to make sure that the screws that you've got on these wheels are tight before you start messing with that scrub with that screw down there so that you've got something to actually turn the wheel against now you can see I got a little bit of wobble back in there okay as I turn that wheel that wobble goes away so I'm going to back back it off cuz I don't want it real tight but that takes the wobble out of the carriage and a loose carriage can actually cause you as many difficulties as if you had a bad belt or loose belt. You can see that it still, you know, still moves, it still homes okay. But like I said, a loose carriage can cause you as many weird problems as if you have got a wonky belt. So when you guys are working on your stuff here, let me back this off a little bit so I can control things. So when you are working with your carriage, with your belt, and etc., make sure that your carriage has an absolute minimum amount of slack or wobble in it. One of the problems can be either this screw on the, on the wheel has been loosened, or something has caused the grub screw to, for instance, loosen up, and that eccentric screw that the wheel is mounted to can loosen. And there are four of these, two in the front, two in the back. This is John. Hope you found some good use in this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see the rest of the stuff that I post, hit that subscribe button, but particularly the like it gives me an idea of what I'm talking about. If what I'm trying to show you helps.
because this is what I'm going through. This is not something I came up with just for the heck of the idea of doing a video. This is what I'm in the process of doing right now is trying to reset my head. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a great one.